Hello everyone and welcome to the Priest of War channel. This is Olahin and today we are finally showing you the final character, the final hero being unlocked. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, Magnus. Magnus is now part of the crew. Let's go ahead and give a quick look at what Magnus provides for us. His special passive, uh, his passive ability. He does a basic attack wound the enemy for three rounds. Magnus loses 20% of his current health at the start of each round. So it takes he takes damage at the end of each round. And also if I move him, he takes damage as well. Or the wounded characters at least. Uh, let's see what else. Deals 35% of Magnus's missing health as damage to the closest enemy and heals himself for half that amount okay so not only is he losing 20% at the beginning then he is siphoning 35% so So pretty much he loses around 5% each round. And then at 35, life siphon damage all wounded enemies for 10% of their maximum health and increases Magnus maximum health by 5%. Hmm. So if I can wound everyone, he will do damage to everyone. Interesting. Interesting. But I don't know if worth it for now. Um, spending all that experience to level him up. He may be worth it. Who knows? At the moment, let's go ahead and uh, show you. We are now level 56. We have Locke, the Grove. We have Nia. We have Hilda. We have Edward and Kincaid at 56. Delfina, Bryn are at, uh, actually Delfina is 55. Bryn is 25. Aaron is 25. Kira is 25. Shen is 25. Egg Magnus is currently level one. Do we just unlock them? So definitely interesting to see. We have a new item as well that we just unlocked. Let me go ahead and show you what that item was. Level one, the Hurricane Gauntlets, 66% speed, 28% attack, six defense. After moving, hero deals 20% bonus damage for one round. That is going to be amazing. So I like that one a lot because, again, we're trying to do a lot of damage as soon as we can to the creatures. We'll go ahead and show you as well. We have a few chests. We also have, let's go ahead and level 56 right now. And we have a few battles to go through. So in order for us to complete our daily tasks, we need to do complete one stage, win 10 battles, equip 10 items. I already did all the other ones, super easy to do. Um, they added this new feature since last time that we showed you guys. Now they have a daily, a weekly, and a monthly offer. All pretty cool. Nothing that stands out, obviously. Otherwise, I would have probably gotten it. So, as of right now, I have 245 gems, 360,000 gold, and let's say if I wanted to level up my heroes, I have 305,000 gold hero experience which I'm saving for now and uh, yeah ladies and gentlemen this is what we're doing right now we're going to go ahead and show you one battle let's go ahead and show you how lock the grove um, we'll show you how Edward and Kincaid are doing at this moment so let's go ahead and pick the party 
that's the boss right there so let's go enemy party number one again we're using the golden die which allows us to power up our heroes just by using one and then this is one of the things this is one of the reasons i have once in a while lost mainly because i don't get the rolls that i need if i don't get the rolls that i need then obviously all we can do is just hope for the best when it comes to the attacks that are being done and then of course make sure that they're not doing too much damage so right now my guy right here is blinded so when he's blinded let me show you blinded he misses all the basic attacks so in effect right now what's going to happen is that his his attack is going to miss there's nothing i can do about that uh, but we are going to power up Kincaid. He is doing his critical attack at the moment. And when he does a critical attack, then killing an enemy will execute automatically another execute. So hopefully we can get uh, the other characters to damage the other creatures enough so that they can actually trigger his effect. We're going to go ahead and use the grove's ability to bring some of the wraiths to the front that should help us create some damage and yeah let's make it happen you guys are going to see what's going to happen right now boom bring him up he missed and that's his ability if you saw that i don't know if you missed it or not but king Cade was able to destroy the enemy that had damage and then after he did that he was able to return and attack for another and um, right now usually when I have only one energy I always try to reload lock so that way actually he can have some attacks otherwise we're pretty much having one character without an attack. So at the moment, as you saw, I'm reloading. So we're around four. At the moment, what we're going to do is power up Edward. We're gonna bring him down. We're going to then also power up King Cade. So this is going to do a blinding attack which is super good and when it's blind obviously you saw the basic attack mists that has been coming really clutch from time to time at the moment I really didn't anything because they're gonna pretty much just take them out and that's pretty much what's gonna happen throughout the whole battle we're gonna go through it try to be tactical about our situation as you can see right now we have a good roll right here we have the Basilisk Fang. We have the Iron Watchman's Plate. We have this really fun one here, which is the Red Hoof's Skull. What it does is, after using an ability, the next basic attack deals 50% bonus damage. So normally, when I put it on lock, his next damage after he reloads does the extra damage so I know consistently that every time he reloads he's gonna do that extra damage um, at the same time uh, this one here 36% health and 15 defense is super good when you put it when uh, you put it on one of the tanks so for example the Grove if you put it on him really enjoys that another the Banshee Shawl is super good especially for luck because what happens here it's uh, if i put it on lock he cannot be blinded or silenced which means that he is able to then wait oh i almost put it on the wrong one i was he's able to then do his full attack and reload at the same time oh my goodness right now i'm just getting some massive massive uh rolls right now to show you guys exactly uh, some of the best items that I like. So, for example, here's another one. The Armor of Malevolence. This one, when uh, when the creature, when the hero is damaged, it does 50 damage to the attacker. Super good to put on tanks, on the, the ones that are in the front line. So, as you can see right now, I actually got 
I would say three of the four, I would say three of the five favorite items in the game right now for my character. So I'm pretty much set when it comes to those three particular items. Super fun to use, really nice uh, when using against an opponent so let me go ahead and just show you real quickly how it goes round one you're gonna see right now let's roll these and as you can see i am not getting the best rolls right now as you saw there you see how every time they hit edward because he does have the shawl of malevolence he does damage to them um the other cool thing about this right now is that we're going to power up the Grove so that he can bring the weaker guys forward. That's one of the ways that we could probably do this attack. But the best play, the best thing to do is let's roll on these. So that way we can do the both the attack and power Edward up. So that way, even though they're going to take damage, he blinds those. He pulls those forward. He destroys Lock destroys them with his um, attack. And uh, as you can see, they're pretty much almost halfway done. Um, we're going to take some damage because, again, whenever this here um, is uh, up, it does do damage to my creatures uh, that we power up. That's the drawback for this uh, particular effect. And uh, we're able to reload lock. So let's go ahead and see how many times we can trigger his ability. Boom, one, two, three, you see that? That's super cool, that's a super cool thing for the executioner. He was able to attack three times. So it doesn't happen often, he doesn't get um, his credits um, very often, but when he does, as you can see there, he pretty much cleaned the board for us. Now all we have to do, just roll uh, so that we can get more battle tokens and equip our guys in the future but this guy is pretty much done and that's how he's gonna go we're gonna try to keep doing this until we win the stage and then uh able to complete our daily tasks unfortunately right now that is not a good roll we do have another good roll now though we have the 30 percent attack 12 percent health three defense basic attacks reduce the target speed by 10 percent that sh that could be fun it's not the best item. This one here is nice. On a crit, it gains a shield equal to 20% of the hero's missing health. That's a good one to use sometimes. Um, this one is nice um, to use uh, at the beginning, uh, in the beginning rounds. So unused combat die, uh, grant one additional battle token. So that's usually nice to use in the beginning. But if you can see there, it gives a 4.5% crit chance which is something that I, I like putting on King K because again, his crit um, triggers that special effect that you saw, which makes it nice for him to get the crit boosts. Uh, let's go ahead and roll again. In this case, we have on heal, you gain five ability power. That is something that we put on the Grove because he heals so that automatically he does damage. And like I mentioned to you in the beginning of the video, we have the Hurricane Gauntlets making an appearance. Of course, we're going to put it on lock because what's going to happen is that he's going to move. He's going to deal 30%, 20% bonus damage. Or actually, we could put it on Kincaid so that he can do a lot more damage. Um, but honestly, let me see who would benefit the most from doing so much damage. I think lock would be the best and one of our other favorite items not the best not the top four that i mentioned but a nice item there's an upgrade to this mystic green actually that we already own um but this one in particular it does damage to a random enemy at the start of each uh battle so it's a passive ability i don't usually put it on lock because i don't want him to use up one of his uh attacks so i usually put it on like edward or somebody like that and this is the upgrade. I mean, come on, guys. We're we're getting god rolls at the moment. So at the start of each round, it deals damage to the closest enemy in each row. Of course, we're going to equip that. So that is the upgrade to the item that I was mentioning. And as you can see, this video is going to be filled with a lot of wins 
for us because we're showing you all the favorite items, the cool items. This is the tactic right now. Let me go ahead and show you. Those three moves are the, the winning moves at the moment. All right, so as you can see there, we're gonna move Locke, we're gonna move Edward, we're gonna move the Grove. Moving him to the pull position up in the top is gonna allow him to do his special attack first, which is gonna pull the Wraith and the, and the uh, Shadow uh, forward. It's gonna allow the other guys to do all their damage on them, hopefully taking them out. At the same time, moving Locke is going to allow um, his item to trigger so as you can see where is it here we go this item remember after moving it does 20 percent bonus damage so of course we're going to move them let's go ahead and show you guys how this is going to play out boom they're blinded and you see 8600 damage was done just from the about the ability of moving lock so once again, we're gonna move him. We're gonna give um, Kincaid his ability. Let's go ahead and do it. Very nice. Everything's looking good. So far, so good. Let me just... And now let's move him again. And who should we boost? Let's go ahead and do him. And I forgot to reload him. So, of course, he's not going to do any damage this round. So it's going to take us to round four, which, of course, I don't need to use any of my die. I'm just going to take him out just with that, which, again, gives us bonus battle tokens. And, oh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I can't have asked for a better video. This, the bow of the Apollo, is my favorite. This Rhino, 1% bonus damage for each defense is a great item as well. This is another item here. Regain 5% of the missing health at the start of each round. That's also another good thing. Usually I put that on lock. Um, speed is always good. Always good. This slowing the opponent is good. I mean, right now we're doing amazing. So that's it for today. We're going to just show you those items. I already equipped 10 items. Let's do that. Um, it's probably going to take another few days before I hit 57. But at the moment, let's go ahead and show you. We are number 22 overall at the moment. So we're top 22 in the world to this game. We're doing pretty good. We still have a few more items to do. We're going to complete this stage. Hopefully hit top 20 in the next few days. But thanks everyone for watching. Hopefully you all have a good rest of your day. Make sure you like subscribe, do everything you need to do to give us some love. Have a good rest of your day. This has been a little quick replay of the game Iron Watch.